This week, you'll learn about different types of lighting and how each is related to photography. Adorama TV presents Visual Impressions with Joe DiMaggio, where you will learn to recognize and utilize the elements around you to create compelling and imaginative photography. Here's your host, Joe DiMaggio. Hi, I'm Joe DiMaggio, and I'd like to welcome you to Adorama TV. Um, and we're going to talk about something today that's very, very meaningful to you and very meaningful to me. We're going to talk about photography. And we're going to talk about what the word photography means. Photo and record, the recording of light. Without light, you don't have a photograph. Light is really what it's all about. That's what photography is. How we record something on a digital piece of equipment or on a piece of film. It's how the light actually falls down onto the film plane or onto the digital computer built into our camera. So that's what we're going to talk about. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you a story about W. Gene Smith. Smith is probably the finest black and white photographer who ever lived and the greatest documentary photographer that I've ever seen. When I started to work with him, I just presumed that everything he did was available light. And at one point when he was, we were loading slides, he was talking about how the photograph was made. And he mentioned that he was using an electronic flash. So when I asked him, I said to him, I said, Gene, uh, I thought everything was available light. He goes, everything is available light. Whatever light is available is the light that we're going to use. He said it doesn't make any difference where the light comes from, but it's how you utilize the light. So that's what Smith taught me, and what we're going to talk about is how we're going to utilize all the different types of light that we have available today in the world of digital photography. And let's just talk about the types of lights that we can actually see here. Bulb. Incandescent, one avenue. Fluorescent, an alternative, not bad. New LED light, LED light, excellent, especially on location. On camera flash, little bit of work, and you'll be able to make a portable studio. Two reflectors, one on camera flash. You could do neat things with this. Little light, this little tiny electronic flash. This little puppy, i got to tell you something. Once you learn how to use this thing and use it properly, it is absolutely gorgeous. So don't dismiss those little pop-up flashes. If you know how to use them, they work very well. Larger LEDs for video. This is Rhyme Light Reflector. Really works well for anything, virtually anything, with DSLR. Absolutely Perfect. Big studio flashes, okay. I use Dynalite, that's what I recommend. Use any brand you want, they're all very good. Dynalite, in my opinion, best bang for the buck. Been using them for a long, long, long time. We'll talk about photography, light, recording light. Little tiny reflectors like this, I use them all the time. I don't go anywhere in the world without at least a couple of these small reflectors. You would be surprised what you could do with this. The LED lights here, we're now using them in lieu of hot lights. You no longer need to do hot lights. These you can leave run constantly. They're good, I think, for 50,000 hours. One of the best things I like in our studio when I designed it was very, very few windows. Very few windows, okay? Six skylights. We utilize the skylights depending on the time of year and what we're photographing using a mixed light, the skylight, electronic flash, or an LED, bring them all together, blend them together. Three-dimensional light, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you a light that everybody can have and it only costs about a dollar, okay? A buck. We all can afford a dollar. Well, not all of us, but I can. Come on, follow me. A piece of diffusion material on a glass door. This little setup right here has been used for absolutely great portraits of musicians, actors, actresses, etc. 
this with a reflector, and you've got a great shot. So let's take a look at this available light. That is million dollar light out there. That's studio light. You spend an awful lot of money to reproduce that in the studio, and we've just got some gorgeous, gorgeous flat light. Almost shadowless light, just, just absolutely wonderful. So don't forget that, that's another alternative. Those are the types of lights that I really recommend. Any light that's available to you. And one of the finest things that you can do is actually mix light. You're gonna take a little bit of sunlight, you're gonna take a little bit of electronic flash, you'll take a little bit of LED light, mix them together. When you mix them together, you, you, you have this beautiful, rich, full, look in what you're photographing, whether it's a young lady, whether it's a puppy dog, whether it's a, an orchid, whatever it happens to be. And that's what we want to do. We want to experiment. You don't want to be locked down to one type of lighting. You want to be able to experiment, you want to be able to blend your light together, and you want to be able to come up with a strong, positive photograph. With the Adorama TV shows, what we want you to do is we want to give you alternatives on how you're going to make a photograph. Some people may not have $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 for studio lights. So what you'll have to use is you'll use something small like a built-in flash, or you'll use a reflector. It's not about how much money you throw at something, but it's how you utilize it, and the end product is hopefully a fine photograph. That's what we're going to try to do. I love the smoke. You gotta love the smoke. We've come a long way, baby. <laughs> fun. It's all about fun. You really want to have a lot of fun. So go out and make some photos. Joe DiMaggio for Adorama TV. Go out and start shooting. Thank you. See you next week. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store, located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.